So they got a thread, they got a tap guide to keep everything lined up. Half turn forward, quarter turn back, that's the way we like to tap. That's actually pretty funny. Nice job. Welcome to my garage. It's the end of the writing season, and that means it's the time of year when I start to do silly upgrades to a bicycle. This is like the bundle of crap that I strap here all the time, like tube, tires, plug kit, CO2, whatever. It's fine, but I'm going to install this one-up EDC tool, which has got like a plug kit in the bottom there, multi-tool, tire lever, chain breaker thing, and it goes into the steerer tube. But in order to do that, you need to tap threads into the steerer tube. And so that's what I'm going to try to do right now. It's supposed to be pretty easy. And I'm going to see how long it takes. Timer gone. So one super annoying thing about this bike is that the stem bolts are like a T30 bolt and no multi-tool except the one I had to buy over there it has a T30 driver on it and uh, that's still annoying so I'm going to replace these stem bolts today too I think. Why would you do that? Other than that, I like this bike a lot, but that's stupid. Now I've got all these tools and they're hanging out in my stem for all time. We'll see, see how this goes. I'm a sucker for storing things on bikes in weird places. On the other bike, I've got the wolf tooth kind of in handlebar set up. And this multi-tool is probably like indisputably better than the one-up one. The only problem that I've had with it is like these bits. I have spent probably 20 minutes of my life searching for bits on the side of a trail, right? Where it's like, you put in the three mil or whatever, you do something, you need the five mil. And then I drop this thing and good luck finding that ever. I mean, I have, but it's taken a lot of time. So it's a very slick little tool and I have done, I have like assembled most of a bike with this thing before and it's got good leverage, nice angles, but I don't know, try out something a little simpler. Cause this one, so I haven't quite worked this out yet. I mean, this is a basic ass little tool, right? You're not going to be doing much of anything with this except emergency stuff. But with how often I actually use any of this stuff, I'm uh, pretty happy to give that a shot. So that was good, good practice, because I actually want to get rid of this fork. It's like, it weighs about 8,000 pounds. And uh, I might do that this winter. And now I've practiced tapping 
a thread into it. And if I get a nicer new one, I won't be freaked out about that. I'll still be freaked out. I mean, anytime you're cutting threads into something that you paid like a thousand bucks for, maybe you don't care about that. I, I will always be nervous doing something like that. But it worked, so there we go.